We are about ready for kickoff here from Cardinale Stadium. As we are now underway, a big night in the history of Monterey Bay FC Union as they take on the San Jose Earthquakes. As the delivery comes to the back post, it's still on here, it comes through the area and just wide there from Jason Johnson. Meeting with that fourth official about that play and turnover here. Kai Green trying to hit that switch but didn't get enough on it. Now Cowell is barreling down this defense. Here's Kate Cowell. And I think the angle that Hugh Roberts had forced Cowell and the space that Siaha took away. Really have to be careful with those, those casual turnovers. Monterey Bay and San Jose represented. See they're now in your top left corner, the San Jose Ultras. Celebrating 20 years as a supporters group. Again, the consistency word that you used earlier. They have players like Donor onto or Yule, Yule on in a flash. And now on this left side, Robinson beyond the defender. The cross into the back post is headed away there by Trauco. And all that work of pulling Monterey Bay out of position. Just let them get set as well. And it's given away and a chance here for Monterey Bay. It's the opening goal. It's a mistake from Daniel at the back. Now then. Very opportunistic with the way San Jose was trying to build out of the back. And this ball just gets right under the foot. Rodriguez and man, right there, Valeski. Now let's see how San Jose responds because that was, a, as you mentioned, a casual turnover and really. Yule having a crack and forcing a decent save out of Siaha who had to tip it over the bar as that was a missile headed for the top corner. Jackson Yule almost with the immediate response. Head up, preps that ball on his right foot. And as you mentioned, puts Siaha into a... Cowell on the byline, getting turned, lovely skill. The cross in towards Buda. Leaping to get a piece of it there was Green. And Donor just play it out that time. Shoulder into Donor there from Miguel Trauco. And he's gonna see a yellow card as he went into the advertising boards. Have to make amends for his earlier error. Unable to do so there is his ball towards Cowell. One there by Robinson. It's tricky feet there from Johnson. Other than just a few moments, we really have not seen him on the ball in that final third. We've seen Cowell on the ball quite a bit. We've seen Jackson Ewell. It's not to see a game without the vanishing spray is. Trauco whip it in into the back post. Buda arriving. Just couldn't direct it towards target. And this is an area that San Jose continues to be dangerous as all these set pieces. Would have been a soft penalty, but certainly some contact there in the area. As Beeson was upended there, and that is a harsh landing as well for the center back, Tanner Beeson. He's clipped that little bit there by Martinez. Beeson is not pleased with how a bit of contact came in. He's expressing that Walmer Martinez should be getting a yellow card for this. Obviously, clearly not going up and challenging the ball as Beeson did and putting his arm out. And Martinez is going to indeed receive a yellow card for that. And then clear from Donor. And there is the halftime whistle. Christian Valeski profiting off the mistake of Rodriguez and Monterey Bay are 45 minutes away from perhaps their biggest win in their brief club history. Perhaps something that was lacking in those first 45 and also Christian Espinosa coming on for Benji Kikanovic as we're underway in the second half. And Eric, one of the things we were talking about during the halftime break was whether it was cramping or he felt a knock because it did seem like he was signaling as if he needed a substitute right away and he could not continue anymore. Caballero come on for him. So, change confirmed in the end. So, both managers 
making early second half substitutions. Lucha Gonzalez keeping a third substitution window available to him by making the changes at half. So now a chance for Baldissimo to step forward and have a chance here. Thought he might have a crack. Might still. Turns and plays it for Marie. Offs it to the back stick and strong claim in the air. The corner into Useni Buda. Could have a go here. He also helping it on here for Marie. Marie cutting inside. Marie trying to find Montero but was making the run. Hard charging into the area. Their record transfer at the time. He's traded to San Jose. Oh, Espinosa cutting inside well of Robinson. Espinosa low through the area. Dangerous attacking play but no finishing touch. Let's see Bobasi. He's got four in the league. Hit for a brace against Sporting Kansas City. In their last home match. Come on and lead the line here. And now we see Iboba C. Marie going for it. Struck it cleanly, but was always going wide there of Anthony Siaha's goal. Now the corner to be played in there. And the first time volley is saved by Daniel. A massive moment. Look at that. Volleyed attempt. What a delivery there. Monterey. It was Cowell is doing jumping jacks on the back post. As the corner comes through, comes off of Ibobasi. The header is saved. Beeson got something on it, but Siaha across and handles well. Chaotic moments inside the 18 yard box just looks so routine. You think there for a moment, the numbers are there for San Jose, the opportunities there. It's a ray. Night Sky. It's done there by Yoseki. Able to find Valeski there. And then bringing in a defensive presence like Max Glasser. And for San Jose, that relationship and that the work between Alex Dixon and Valeski, you just don't want to concede that second goal. Goalkeeper Seattle off to get set as the whistle had already sounded. Will be Espinosa to take. He'll go for the strike. It's low, and it's spilled there by Siaha, but he's back onto it. Dangerous there for a second from the Tucson native. Before the take was was it too far to test Siaha? But a little more than a quarter of an hour left to play here. Given away there by Montero. Now Gleedle is just drifting through this midfield as Valeski running with him. Will play it further out to his right. The chance here for Monterey Bay. To get to this stage, the chance to beat MLS opposition is now Grueso will enter. And San Jose is going to continue to throw numbers at Monterey Bay. As we mentioned earlier, there's no difference in dropping 1-0 or 2-0, so you need to find that equalizer. As it's whipped in, the header is over the bar. There was a chance there for Rodriguez. Would have been an opportunity to make amends for the Brazilian center back, but put it straight over the bar. Any players who could be the difference makers. Not to be just yet in the San Jose side. Braucos cross is heavy off of Montero. Anywhere will do. Just unfortunately for them, just nothing really testing Siaha. A couple of nice touches there for Valeski. Just to keep it a bit, and now Donor at full pace getting forward. His cross is headed away from Rodriguez. Has put on in front of its home fans. Free kick given to the Earthquakes. Crowd at none too pleased. Espinosa to whip in. Comes to the back stick and there was an unmarked man but unable to get anything towards it. Cross whipped in, Espinosa waiting on the back post, but Robinson heads clear. Weedle on Grueso. Oh, and it's awkward there, it's a miscommunication, and now Dixon can charge here at Beeson. Has Valeski running with him. Here's Valeski to be the hero, Valeski! It's just wide! And what a run by Dixon and Valeski there. Seeing an opportunity to put their team up two goals. Valeski giving everything there to provide that winner. And he now makes way. His goal is the difference maker. 
so much pace, but runs into trouble there. Glasser put the challenge in. He somehow managed to keep it. Trauco with the switch of play now towards Tommy Thompson. Surely that's been enough. And there is the full-time whistle, the stuff of Open Cup dreams. Monterey Bay have beaten MLS opposition on their first time of asking.